night for Chris Larson joins us now. Chris, the good news is we are getting a little bit of a break. Yeah, a little bit of a break by the end of the weekend, but still some uh, thunderstorms possible this afternoon. Now, know the difference between a confirmed tornado and a tornado that's warned by the National Weather Service. Sometimes you get an indication from what's called a TVS, a tornado vortex signature on radar, that shows that there is rotation and that storm may produce a tornado, and they will go ahead and put a warning out for that. Then they wait to get for ground verification. Somebody like a spotter or a police officer or a fire department to say, yes, we actually see a tornado tornado on the ground or they get reports of significant damage and they go out and assess that. Last night's storm, no reported significant damage, but there were a couple of tornado warnings out across the plains. We've got partly cloudy skies, 59 in the Springs, Pueblo at 67, 61 in Lyman, mid 60s Canyon City and a cool 46 degrees this morning in Alamosa. Out across the plains, low and mid 60s, it's 42 in Leadville, 55 Walsenburg and 57 right now in the Denver Metro. And look at the plains, the difference in the dew points out there. They're in the 50s, 60s, even mid 60s towards La Junta Lamar. You go back into the mountains in western Colorado, you've got dew points in the 30s and 40s. That's dry air. That's moist, muggy air. And we've got showers and thunderstorms with the heating of the day and with a little energy aloft working its way into the region once again. Radar is quiet this morning. It probably won't light up until 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. Highs from the low 80s into the upper 80s, Pueblo, and out across the Arkansas River Valley, varying temperatures low to mid 80s. 89 in Trinidad this afternoon and about 86 degrees in Canyon City. So that westerly flow continues, pushing those storms from the west and out to the east during the afternoon. Now on Saturday, Afternoon thunderstorm still possible, but that ridge of high pressure kind of building in. We'll get a drier northerly to northwesterly flow on Sunday, warming temperatures with that building ridge through the middle of next week. So still today from I-25 and areas out across the plains, those thunderstorms and possible severe storms will be possible. Until the lunch hour and probably through the lunch hour, just partly cloudy skies, 12, 1 o'clock. But by 2, 3, 4 o'clock, showers and thunderstorms firing. And again, where you see the darker reds, an indication you could see a few stronger storms. So that's the 4 o'clock hour. As we go into the 7 and 8 o'clock hour, indications are we see another round of storms. And again, these could be strong. La Junta, Lamar, over into Prowers County and Baca County. And before they wind down and move east during the overnight hours. Now, temperatures will also be just a couple of degrees cooler for Saturday, upper 70s, low 80s, 80 Canyon City, and 82 degrees in La Junta. So, tonight's storms, again, push out to the east. It's a kind of quiet start to the day, mostly sunny into the lunch hour. Once again, tomorrow afternoon, a few thunderstorms are going to be possible here across the area. A lot of folks will stay dry, but if this comes to fruition tomorrow afternoon, you get down into Lincoln County, Crowley County, out into Bent and Prowers County, Otero County, yeah, that's that's where we could see, and you've got one that's pretty healthy here. Again, that's a radar estimate from computer models, not a guarantee that those are going to be exactly placed, but you will see a few showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon. Monument Palmer Lake active the next 48 hours, drying out Sunday, warming into the mid and upper 80s by Monday and Tuesday. Woodland Park showers and thunderstorms in the mid 70s today, but we're up to 84 on Tuesday and 84 on Wednesday. Canyon City again, a few showers and thunderstorms today and tomorrow, that drier pattern developing by Sunday and we're up to 97 degrees by Tuesday afternoon for Pueblo low to mid 80s the next couple of days but we're seeing temperatures approaching 100 degrees by Tuesday afternoon as that high pressure ridge builds in 97 and 96 Wednesday and Thursday and finally here for Colorado Springs showers and thunderstorms going to be pockets of those today and again tomorrow drier Sunday with 84 or into the low 90s Monday low and mid 90s Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday all right let's go ahead